The internet is not what it used to be. Gone are the days of simple web pages. As now, we have to deal with algorithms that are controlling information and user data. Algorithms are the best sensor gatekeepers you could possibly produce because they're very well hidden. There's really nothing that can be done about them since every company who develops algorithms also has intellectual property rights, which means no one is allowed to look into how it works and see if it's fair or not. Even government agencies don't have a chance of checking an algorithm, so they wouldn't know if the algorithm works in a fair and balanced way or if it works in a very one-sided way, which they do. The more algorithms that come from our internet sources or whatnot, no matter how many ways of censoring things there are online, people will continue finding their own methods in order to communicate among themselves. We keep the internet fairly free for now, but what's going to happen was always going to happen. Big structural cyber attacks have been on the rise. In recent months, we've seen a spike in these types of hacks, which are not irregular, but rather more common than ever before. And it's because this is when hackers strike their biggest targets. Big corporations, platforms, government websites, etc. Now, you might think that all these random glitches happening across our planet happen without any connection to each other. With Iran afflicted by some difficulty as well as Canada being hacked too. Yet they're actually connected to one event. An attack against every single target at once. These are preparation attacks. We believe there's basically going to be an internet shutdown event where such structural cyber attacks will happen that for most of the planet, the entire World Wide Web will come crashing down and we won't have access to 80 to 90% of all services because everything now is internet based. Now this wouldn't just be an unfortunate coincidence it would actually be part of a planned attack by someone with very specific goals in mind. They plan on completely restructuring how we use the net. Imagine the largest country you know, then multiply it by a million. The internet is now being called the digital entity. With every human on earth needing to have an online passport before they can access this new land, and with their credentials accessible for all to see, what will happen? The internet is a great resource that allows us to access information from all around the world, but we should take advantage of it while it's still free. Learn something, create something, do something that is useful for your brain. And that's why we recommend Skillshare. Skillshare is for people who are always looking to learn new things and broaden their horizons. This platform has over thousands of classes from different categories that will provide you with a lifetime worth of experience and knowledge in such short periods of time that there's no excuse not to try it out. There is a class I highly recommend. It's called Never Be Lied To Again, How To Get The Truth In Any Conversation Or Situation In Five Minutes Or Less. The course is created by Dr. David Lieberman. This guy conducts training in tactics of lie detection and interview interrogation for elite FBI profilers, the NSA, and the United States military. In fact, he created the program that's mandatory for all psychological operations, or PSYOP, graduates in the United States Air Force. And he's going to teach you what he teaches to them. You've got to take this class. And because Skillshare is today's video sponsor, it's totally free. They're offering you one month of premium Skillshare, absolutely free, if you click the link in the description. Skillshare is the best. The reason is because they have over 30,000 classes. Everything in design, photography, entrepreneurship, business. They've got something for everybody. But this class by Dr. David is very important in my opinion. It has been tried before. But countries up until now have fought against too much control of the internet, so we haven't seen any of these lofty ambitions come true yet. However, a digital citizenship may soon be required in order to access it. Something that would increase security as well as provide more opportunities for people across borders. Imagine a world where every movement is tracked and monitored by the government. They will know where you are 
what your activity is like, and who you're chatting with. And they'll have control over every aspect of the internet that those movements take place in. Your private life online may be a thing of the past as soon as this year. All your movements from now on will already be tracked by centralized power, which can then track everything about it, including names, for example, to make sure only approved content reaches people's screens. The internet will be the new central government with everything happening on it. The internet is not safe. In an effort to prevent future attacks, some government officials are proposing that we shut down the currently open internet and replace it with a more tightly regulated system where only those who have been verified can access information online. The goal would be for this new system to increase security while also helping law enforcement agencies catch criminals faster by cutting off routes of communication they need in order to operate anonymously online. We expect this event to happen. It might be sooner, it might be later. This will be the worst attack of its kind. And it's coming soon. The last year has been a practice run for what we're about to experience. ATMs won't work. Devices with internet access will be rendered useless. And our society as a whole will spiral out of control in less than two minutes. Do you ever wonder what life would be like without the internet? But here's the good news. Tim Berners-Lee, the guy who invented the concept of the World Wide Web, is working on a new internet where users will have 100% control over their personal data. It would be encrypted in a way so only you could access it. And there are no middlemen involved, so your privacy isn't at risk anymore. You're finally free to use online services without feeling guilty for sharing too much about yourself. So this guy and his team, they've been working tirelessly for years now on this new internet. They know this is coming, and they will launch this very soon, and it will become a new revolution. But the old internet might go down before this revolution starts, which would cause an interruption in everyone's lives due to lack of access. There are many outcomes for this event, and we can't tell you which one will happen. We don't know whether it'll be a big boom or spread slowly across the world. North America might see an attack first while Europe is attacked second, or vice versa. But it is going to happen.